Were you initially an experimentalist or a theoretical physicist? No, no, no. I was a theorist. I was one of these highfalutin mathematical theorists. Uh, I did my PhD in uh, quantum field theory, and um, when I was finished, I was trying to find a job, which is what I always tell you about, uh, and uh, it looked like it was going to be very difficult. So I fortunately got a, uh, an offer from uh, an experimentalist uh, to do a little bit of low-level theory for him, uh, working on a very uh, strange project, uh, which was the formation of helium bubbles in the cladding materials of reactors. Um, uh, and I thought I couldn't possibly do this, it sounded too awful, but after working on it for a while, I suddenly came to the uh, epiphany that uh, all problems were I interesting. Not mm -hmm. just highfalutin mathematical problems, but all problems were interesting. So for the last, mm, how many years, almost 50 years, <laughs> I've been trying to uh, uh, forget what I had done as a PhD student and uh, work on applied problems like the, the problems of stomata mm. and plants. Mm. So what, what would you say it's the, the thin line that differentiates the experimental physics from theoretical physics? Well, there, there are several levels of theoretical physics. Uh, um, the, the kind of theory that I do is evidence-based, is... Uh, is data-based. Uh, if I didn't collaborate with my colleague in biology who's an experimentalist, I wouldn't do this. I, I would have to do something else. So my theory is very uh, much trying to explain experimental results. But there's a whole branch of, uh, of theory which is not uh, affected by experiments. Uh, like, for example, string theory, uh, which has no experimental evidence supporting it whatsoever. Uh, but there's lots of people, thousands of people uh, doing that, and they do it because it's beautiful. Uh, I don't care so much about beauty anymore. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. That's awesome. Um, so what uh, advice would you give a uh, young African student who is struggling to be a physicist or a scientist in general. And do you have any words of encouragement or any word of advice? Oh, I, I, think, I think the life of a scientist is uh, a precious life. Um, but I think uh, I would uh, say to any young person from Africa or anywhere that what you should do is uh, find a, an area uh, of investigation in which you can uh, either do experiments or work closely with experimentalists uh, to try to find the answers. Don't work by yourself and don't work on uh, very theoretical things because not so many people are interested in those things. <laughs>